sorry about that, I got the wrong gear. So, I got the dozer on here. We just loaded it, I was making a video, and then I got a damn phone call. That's the bad thing about using the phone. If somebody calls and it just interrupts the video, and I don't know how to loop it together, or splice it or whatever. So I tested this camera out and I made a video about it. Told a good story, but uh, I probably won't post it, but I was testing the, the mount out, you know. And I'll just tell you the story on the way back. We got to stop and get air. I got a tire's low, I guess, when I was hauling hay, I picked something up. So I'll put air in it, which sucks because those are brand new, brand new trailer tires. So I will uh, we'll stop at this truck stop up here and uh, get air. But yeah, like, I can't wait to tell you a story because this load ain't nothing to what I had on there when I hauled that last load of hay and I didn't have a video of it because the customer was riding with me. That's six gear, five on the tuner. Me and Jack's, thousand degrees. That's good. The only time I've seen them trailer brakes not want to do anything is when I hauled that last load of hay, the 16 rolls. It didn't even have, I mean, it was crazy. I'll tell you about it when we get on the interstate and start talking. I really, really regret not videoing that one for you all because that was a good one. You want to see a 7.3 almost not pull something? That's what it was. And it was just hay. My truck brakes were smoking from it. This 16 rolls, all it was. I gotta get that other airbag put on here. I'll tell you how bad this thing is on diesel on the interstate. And it may be the fuel filter and air filter is not helping it none. But I'll tell you, I started out with almost a half a tank, all right? Ran 72, 75 miles an hour over here with the cruise on. And I have right now a quarter tank of fuel. How crazy is that? Right now it's not getting good fuel mileage. I still think it's got bad fuel in it. Oh my God, we're right on this hill. This is not good. Come on, come on, change, change, change. God bless. Y'all see that? See, she's pulling hard. There's gonna be one spot on the interstate I can probably tell you that we're gonna be going probably 50 miles an hour on. Probably have to defuel it and it's one big good size hill. Pull up here and get air.
So what I like about my trailer is, is there's a switch on it that I put that lawnmower battery on there and all I did was I switched my trailer brakes. You need quarters? Cut the truck off of it. Huh? Somebody cut the air truck off the hose. Oh. Watch out. God bless. That's this freaking lid sticking up for that. <coughs> <laughs> for the pumps or for the tanks I don't think there's any other air here nope nope no air let me talk to him we'll probably just go to Flying J Yeah, so I switched my trailer brakes, put them on a switch. Hang on a second.
start leaving your window down. That way you can stay in your seat. Alright. We gotta go to the other hole in the wall truck stop down here. The one for all the coal trucks. That tire is almost flat. It's gonna ruin it's what it's gonna do. It's right next door to the refinery, who tells the, the, this area on TV that they're here for the sit for this area. They're a good neighbor, and they charge that crap for that. That's BS. When there's a gas station or truck stop that don't have, they don't get their fuel from there, and they have diesel for 390, I think, a gallon or 389, something like that. You wouldn't think that little bit makes a difference, but it does. You start pumping, putting as much in as I do. We buy a lot of diesel. I mean, the trucks and then like all the equipment. I'm just coasting, there ain't no reason. To... I hope we have air here, because if we don't, we're probably screwed. I have to go all the way out the interstate, which that tire I don't think will last that long. Hot already. Jacks, it's hot here, buddy. I don't see air here either. Tell me, they got a truck stop this size with no air. <laughs> stupid place. Just wasting time, Gary. Hell. suggested we move the dozer all the way over to the front. It wouldn't hurt nothing. And get that weight off that tire as much as possible. I've done that in the past and it works. It's way better than changing the tire, especially on the side of the interstate. tell you a story real quick so the second load of hay that I went to get the customer was in the truck I couldn't video well anyways 
we went to Ohio because that first load of hay that I hauled that's on video was crap hay. It had garbage that had been bailed up. It was loosely wrapped. It wasn't nowhere near good hay. It had all kinds of sprouts and garbage in it, rocks. I mean, just st stupid stuff. I was like, I wouldn't feed that to our cows, but I couldn't get phone service to make that call, so I just went ahead and had them loaded, you know? I mean, hell, I drove two hours one way to go get that hay. We gotta get a run at this. This is that big hill. We're gonna have to get a run. I may not ever get out of fifth gear. It's not running good at all. I put it on six. I never put it on six. That's 2,500 RPMs, 55 miles an hour. So we put that load of hay on there the second time. We're right at 53 miles an hour, 1,000 degrees, 20 pounds of boost. Uh, in fifth gear. But uh, it was the heaviest load I've ever hauled on this truck ever. I couldn't even get out of fifth gear on rolling hills, nothing like this. Uh, just because I couldn't keep the EGTs down even on three with 16 rolls of hay. And it was dry hay. And I mean, they wrapped that. They were five by, uh, five by fives, big boys. That's five foot by five foot. And uh, it could have been wet for as much as it weighed, I don't know. But that's those big bales that we bailed. I'm telling you, man, that was a long, hard pull all the way home. It, I went through almost three quarters of tank of fuel. There we go. This dozer don't weigh near as much as what that load of hay weighed. This weighs 16 something. I don't know the exact number on it, but uh, it's a, a 78 or 83 model somewhere in there. Uh, he wasn't for sure on the year, but uh, yeah, so. Anyways, uh, I just about go on with it to the farm, but that's that's a long stretch on the blacktop running this with that tire at low. I better just pull off up here. But man, I'm gonna tell you that was one hell of a pull. Just getting up out of the driveway was was sketchy. I mean, it was a long gravel driveway going to blacktop, and uh, we took off in low gear, went to first gear, and I tuned it to six and just matted it. 
and it started spinning and growing down and took off. And we went up that driveway and I said, oh my God, look in the mirror. I know it was black smoke. The whole bottom of that hauler was full of black smoke. And uh, anyways, uh, we uh, got started and then down, coming down off that mountain, which is, it was a pretty big hill, wasn't a mountain, I don't guess, but it was a real windy two lane road. It was breaking off and there was no guardrails or nothing. And I just put it in like second gear and walked it down off that hill. I just didn't want the brakes to get hot. I was on and off, on and off the brakes the whole time. And uh, we got to the bottom and the, my rear discs were smoking coming up around the bed. I've got to put new calipers and rotors on this thing this winter. But uh, I run them cross drilled slotted ones on from Detroit Axle on my other 7.3s and they, they, on the rear, I didn't put them on the front. They seem to do really good. So, you know, with a heat gun, I could tell a big difference, like 250 degree difference. Uh, but the loads weren't identical, so. Anyways, yeah, it was a good load. I wish to God I'd have videoed it, but I didn't. We were probably grossing total gross truck, trailer, and the load every bit of 35,000. I know it was because I've never seen this truck struggle like that. And it was warm out too. That, you know, these trucks, like I said, these seven threes like it when it's cold, or my, the, both ones I've had do. We'll get some air up here and then uh, we'll head on out there. We're not going to the farm, we're going to where the snows are coming from. oil change and she's pulling hard already but that load of hay I had the oil change for it I had hot shots oil in there and that stuff's so expensive man I'm not taking off hell we'll just take off on this hill right here I was gonna go to the top but it's red there too we'll just pull this hill right here with it They have an entrance up on top of that hill that goes in for low boys and stuff like that, but we'll just go ahead and go in right here. Stupid crap. I got it reversed by accident. I go over here and get air. I can't reach it where it was at. You don't want to turn tight if you don't have to and just pull that inside axle when you got a load like this on it. It's really hard on that inside axle. Let me pause it. All right, so we got air in there, but whoever borrowed the trailer last time, 
must have had a blowout or something because the tire's different on that back corner. It's not a flat top tire, so I'm gonna have to investigate that. See where that came from. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I know it's a long video, but I try to get as much good footage as I could. I'll do this one last big interstate hill and uh, we'll go from there. Probably end the video so it's not a real long drawn out video.